hello everyone in this video we are going to uh, see about the concept of antepartum hemorrhage because there is a lot of confusion among the students that whether it is a placenta previa is a APH or abruptio placenta is a APH or APH is a different disease so let's clear the concept now it suggests that any bleeding from genital tract after 28 weeks of pregnancy or you can say after pregnancy achieve period of viability which can be different for different countries and different guidelines for example WHO it is 22 weeks in India it is 28 weeks which is now uh, latest converted into 24 weeks by Indian Association of, Association of Pediatrics so what whatever basic thing about this that bleeding is happening but it's not an abortion it's not an abortion of pregnancy okay the bleeding is there but that doesn't mean that it is the abortion process because baby already have achieved the viability so we cannot call it abortion okay so the bleeding happening from somewhere else from some uh, structural problems for example placenta previa in which placenta is attached into lower uterine segment and when the lower uterine segment dilates it generally gets abruption, you know, the separates from the basical what uh, decidua basalis. That's why there is a bleeding. So any cause of bleeding after the fetus achieve period of uh, achieve vitability, self independence, it is considered under abruptio placenta. Okay, so what are the causes of abruptio placenta? The most common causes placenta previa and abruption of placenta. Local causes are can be there like polyps, CA cervix, varicose veins, local trauma, even vasa previa. All these causes consider under uh, antepartum hemorrhage. Antepartum hemorrhage means before partum, before delivery. The bleeding happens. It is called before labor. Partum means a labor. There is a bleeding before labor and there is a bleeding after labor. That is called PPH, postpartum labor. So you need to understand very basic the clear differences. Now let me uh, have a very clear uh, view on what is placenta previa and what is abruptio placenta. Placenta previa means the placenta is attached in the lower segment of uterus. See, most of the placenta uh, settle itself in the upper portion. This is the upper segment. This is the lower segment. Here, placenta can be attached here. Here can be attached here. So, most of the placenta usually attaches to the upper segment of uterus. But some placenta adheres to the lower segment here. So, with the help of delivery, with the help of... Uh, so, with the... Uh, pregnancy advances this lower segment is going to dilate okay it is not constant just like upper segment it is going to dilate or it will change its shape that's why this surface placenta gets separated placenta gets separated from the its base that is decidua basalis that's why the vascular channels are open at that uh, place that's why bleeding happens this is called placenta previa. Abruptio placenta is the thing where placenta is attached into the upper segment, but some dif uh, some problems, some uh, diseases, and some events like trauma, the placenta separates from its base, so bleeding happens from here. So placenta previa and abruptio placenta are just considered as the same entity. But the difference is where the placenta previa, placenta attaches to the lower segment. But in case of abruptio placenta, placenta is attached to the upper segment. In both the things, what, what the problem happens is placenta separated from the base, its base, that is decidua basalis. And that's why the vascular channels there is opened and bleeding PV happens. Bleeding happens. This is the main cause of 
एब्रप्शियो प्लेसेंटा एंड प्लेसेंटा प्रीविया आई होप दिस कंसेप्ट इज क्लियर टू यू नाउ थैंक यू